Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keyboard Kings. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Sinosis Chroma and doing a quick unboxing. So when it comes to making high quality keyboards, Razer has definitely been the one to do it. So whether you're looking to get a stylish keyboard or you're super into RGB, Razer has definitely got you covered with the Razer Sinosis Chroma. So you might be wondering why is this keyboard so great and that's what I'm going to hopefully cover in this video. So the design and build quality of this keyboard is super amazing. There's little to no flex in this keyboard. It's a full sized keyboard. So you have all the keys that you could possibly need. You got your function row, you got the numpad, you've got the indicator lights on the top row to let you know about if you have your nums lock, caps lock, etc. The frame itself is made from a high quality plastic material. For the price of this keyboard, it actually overperforms in this price range. So the keycaps on this keyboard are super smooth, high quality ABS plastic, super smooth, see-through legends. The legends are all flush with the keycaps. There's a slight curve on the keyboard keycaps that just feel nice while you're typing. The top of it sort of has like a rubbery feel, but in terms of the RGB, for this price point, you're really not going to find RGB as good as this one. Each key is individually lit, so using the Razer Synapse software, you can actually program the lighting however you want. Over 16 million colors to choose from and each key can be lit individually however you want. Super customizable in terms of the RGB lighting. Um, the switches on this keyboard are membrane. Of course, it's a membrane keyboard. The switches, there's little to no tactile feel. It's more similar to a linear switch. You just press it and there's no, no bump at all. They're super quiet switches. They feel great. Definitely not a mechanical keyboard feel, but some people are into the mushy keys. And if you're one of the people that are into the mushy types of keys rather than the clickety of a mechanical keyboard, then you're definitely going to like this keyboard. So the power cable is just the regular standard power cable. It's six foot long, so you got plenty of room to move the keyboard around and do what you gotta do. So some of the best features of the Razer Sinosis Chroma is um, the 10 key rollover. So you can press up to 10 keys at one time and it should register all the keys, which is why this keyboard is really good if you're a gamer, because when you're gaming, you're gonna be pressing a ton of keys at one time. Another great feature of this keyboard is its spill resistance, which again comes into play for gamers or really anybody that's sitting at their desk for a long time. You're gonna have your drink next to you and there's a good chance that you might make a spill. And if you do, thankfully this keyboard is actually spill resistant, so it shouldn't really be harmed if that happens. But that doesn't mean that you can dunk the keyboard into, into a swimming pool. It just means that if you spill a little bit on the keyboard, then it should be all right. It's also, like I said, a high quality keyboard, which is another great feature. It's got um, keyboard feet, so a little bit of ergonomic there, helps with your wrists. And then the RGB lighting, again, is one of the best features of this keyboard. So many options and customizability, especially if you use the Synapsys software. Another great thing about this keyboard is the programmability. 
So each and every one of these keys are completely programmed. You can assign whatever commands you would like for any of the 104 keys on this keyboard. You can get them to do whatever you want with the help of the Razer Synapsys 3 software. So it can help gamers for in-game functions or also just people from day to day work if you need to set up macros or whatever you need to do. It's really great for that. It also has the basic multifunctional keys. It doesn't have dedicated multiple keys, multimedia keys, but on the function row, it has all you need. You can hold the function button and you got your play, pause, volume up and down, pretty much everything you need in terms of your multimedia keys, but it doesn't have a dedicated volume button or any of the other keys. You have to press function in order to access those keys. So the Razer Synapse software is the software that you need to get if you want to really maximize the true potential of this keyboard. So you can choose from an array of eight lighting effects for your keyboard, and then you can choose to edit and change the lighting of the keys because all of the keys are individually backlit which is not very common for keyboards especially in this price range and then when it comes to macro editing and programmability you can choose to keep the game mode on and you can assign different functions to different keys you can completely change the layout of the keyboard using the hyper shift functionality and there's much more that you can do and it, it's more than i can really explain in this video but basically just if you get this keyboard you need to download that software and just check it out and see all the things that you can do. It's crazy. So how does the Razer Synapsys Chroma compare to the Pro version versus the Huntsman Mini or, Mini or other Razer keyboards? The Razer Synapsys Chroma is beautiful and impressive keyboard for the price that it goes by. If you put it into competition with other Razer keyboards, you're going to see that it definitely holds up extremely well in comparison. So for reference, you can get the Razer Chroma Pro. For a higher price than the than this one there are only really a few added benefits such as the underflow rgb lighting but really it's not worth the extra money in my opinion and then if you compare it to other better keyboards such as the huntsman mini it still has a lot of the same functionalities and provides a better performance per dollar so you're getting a better bang for your buck with this keyboard however the huntsman mini is definitely a better keyboard but you're also paying a lot more for it. So here's a few frequently asked questions. Is the Ram Razer Synapsis Sonosa Chroma waterproof? It isn't waterproof, so you can't, like I said, dunk it into a swimming pool. However, it is water resistant, so light spills, it should hold up just fine. Is the Razer Sonosis Chroma quiet? And it is very quiet, unlike mechanical key switches there's no clicking sound it's their mushy keys and there's pretty close to no sound at all how do you reset a Razer Snosa Chroma keyboard you can use the hyper shift feature of the Razer Synapse software you can easily reset the Razer Snosa Chroma keyboard with the software each of the keys can be remapped to a completely different key depending on your customization requirement. So with this software, you can easily reset your keyboard without any difficulties or manually program. Then how do you open a Razer Sonosa Chroma keyboard? You have to, on the back, it has um, little circles. You have to pop those out and underneath you'll find the screws. Then you can unscrew it and you can pop it open. If for some reason you need to get inside the keyboard, maybe to do some maintenance or something. That's how you do it, it's pretty simple. So in the end, I would say that it's your choice whether you get this keyboard or not, but if this is the price range that you're in, it's definitely a great keyboard to take a look at. If you're someone that really loves your RGB lighting, you'll be happy to know that there's so much option, customizability options with the RGB for this keyboard, which you don't see a lot in this price range and also it's a membrane keyboard so if you're not into membrane keyboards then you're definitely not going to like this keyboard because the keys are super mushy and you can definitely tell it's a membrane keyboard when you're typing on it but if you're into membrane keyboards if you're into rgb lighting and you need that 10 key rollover for gaming then this is definitely a keyboard that you should check out let me know in the comments down below what you think about this keyboard let me know if you found this video helpful and if you did make sure to Press the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.